Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Learn with Sahira. This video is going to be very 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 much important and useful for all the degree students out there who are about to write their semester exams. I know your exams are just around the corner and you are worried about how to start, what to study, whether you can complete the whole syllabus in time or not. Don't worry, I am here to help you out. In this video, I am going to show you step by step guide for your exam preparation in order to score good marks. You know that your exams are on your head but I think you don't know how you have to start your exam preparation in effective manner to score good marks in your exams. If you are a student who are about to write your semester exams then definitely you have to watch this video till end without skipping the video. If you are new to our YouTube channel Learn with Sahira, subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too. You have to subscribe our channel because on this channel you will be getting important question and answers videos lesson explanation videos, paper pattern presentation videos, tips to score O grade videos. So all the videos related to your exams. I will make sure that you are prepared for your exams. So watch this video till end and subscribe our channel. And uh, as I said you, I am just expecting a like and a share from you. So like this video and share this video as much as you can. Okay, so let us get started with our video. As I already said you, in this video we are going to discuss about exam preparation. We are going to dedicate our whole time on the topic exam preparation because it is really very 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 much important as I already said you to know how you have to start your exam preparation. Everyone will be reading but there are few techniques to follow in order to get ready for your exams. So as you can see on the board I have written few steps which you need to follow which will help you out to get ready for your exams. So we are going to discuss about each and every step in detail so that it will be helpful for you. Step 1 is know your syllabus. Step 1 is know your syllabus. It is really very important students to know your syllabus, to, uh, syllabus what exact syllabus you are having in your subjects. Especially degree first semester students your syllabus have been changed for few subjects. So please know what exact syllabus you are having in your subjects. Before starting anything core subjects, non-core subjects or languages. If you are starting your exam preparation, first know what exact syllabus you are having. Then only you start your exam preparation, practicing or preparing. Okay. And after knowing your syllabus, it is important to study important questions only. Because most of the students, they will waste their time studying irrelevant topics or unimportant question and answers. First know your syllabus, then go and search for important question and answers. Don't worry about the important question answers because on this channel I am going to upload important question and answers for each and every subject and I have already made notes for important question and answers. I have made notes of each and every subject important question and answers in easy, simple and exam focused way. If you go with those notes even the slow learners and fast learners can get prepared with their exams in less time. They are mainly focusing on quick exam preparation in less time. Okay, so if you want those notes, you can text me on my Instagram. My Instagram ID is learn with Sahira. But note, payment is master. Because I have invested a lot of time and hard work on those notes to make them simple, easy and clear to understand. Only important question and answers notes they are. So if you want those notes, text me on my Instagram. Instagram name is learn with Sahira. I will be dropping a link in this video description as well. So first know your syllabus and only study important question answers, not unimportant ones or irrelevant topics. So this is the step one. Then step two is divide your time. This is very important. You have to divide your time. You have to divide your days. Most of the students, they will give much preference or more time to the difficult subjects and they will neglect others. You have to give more time for the difficult subjects, but you need not to neglect your other subjects as well. Okay, you have to give much time to the difficult ones, but at the same time, you should also keep an eye on the subjects which you feel easy. So divide your time in such a way that you prepare for all the subjects, not only the difficult ones. Sometimes what happens is the subject which you are feeling is easy in examination. When you see the question paper, you will be shocked. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it may not. What I'm trying to say you is divide your time in such a way that you will prepare for each and every subject. Not only the difficult ones, you have to give your time for the easy ones as well. Okay, so second point is divide your time. 
divide your time make a timetable make a schedule that what you have to study how you have to study what you have to cover okay only few days are left so divide your time in proper way that you give equal importance to the easiest ones and equal importance to the difficult ones definitely give more time to the difficult ones but don't leave easiest ones okay third point is prioritize weak areas this is very important as we already discussed here the same point follows here what you have to do is you have to give much time to the difficult ones see uh, this is the human nature what we enjoy or what we like we do that right if you are enjoying something we will do that if we like something we will do that but in your exam preparation it won't work what you need to do is what you don't like or in which you are facing difficulty you need to give much time to those subjects you have to prioritize or give much preference much priority to the weak areas or to the weak subjects the subjects which you feel difficult or in which you are facing difficulty or which you uh, feel like they are not easy they are tough subjects you please give much time to those subjects and when you are starting your exam preparation you start with those subjects because those subjects need more time okay like problematic subjects or computer subjects accounting subjects okay especially few students in their intermediate they don't have accounts right they will be from some other background but they will be doing the degree so for those students especially i'm saying you go with the problematic subjects accounting subjects okay if you don't know or if you feel difficulty in computer subjects go with computer subjects prioritize weak areas as i said you it is human nature that what we like we do that but here in the exam preparation what you don't like or what you feel like it is difficult you need to do that okay first go with the difficult subjects only don't start with the easiest ones you can cover your languages you can cover your non core subjects just like that in very less time okay few students even they will uh, like they don't study for the weeks or days only two days before or one day before only one night before they will be studying their languages and non core and they will getting passed in those exams because see in the languages if you just know the story you can write the complete summary in your own words but in problematic subjects that's not the way you do when you know the proper steps or when you know how you have to solve that problem then only you will be doing that problem or then only you will be getting the solution in languages it is not the thing right in languages if you just know the story you will write the complete story in your own words but in problematic subjects you need regular practice okay practice more so that you can score good marks in the problematic subjects because of the problematic subjects please don't lose your marks okay so prioritize weak areas then fourth step is use active learning techniques okay this is also very much important all the steps whatever i am showing you in this video and i have written on the board all these are important fourth one is very important use active learning techniques everyone will read everyone will prepare for the exams there is no big deal in that we will read 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 go on reading but reading is not important i am not saying you you should not read what you are reading is not important how you are reading is important make a note of this okay what you are reading is not important how you are reading is important very much important so you need to use active learning techniques in order to cover the complete syllabus or in order to get ready for the complete subject if you use active learning techniques like you make short notes when you are reading just to note down the main points like if you just note down the subheadings yes in the theory subjects no, i'm not talking about the problematic subjects definitely you need good practice in the problematic subjects you need to practice more and more problems but in theory subjects just note down the subheadings if you know the subheadings the complete answer you can write in your own words okay uh, use flash cards make short notes or you just uh, what do you call it you are having different applications right on your mobile phone or pcs or laptops you are having different applications right like notepad or ms word something like that so you just make make a note down of the important points but it is better to make a note down with a pen and a paper take a book write down the main points or make flash cards okay see reading is not important how you are reading is important in the examination also what you are writing is not important how you are writing is important so don't focus on what focus on how okay use active learning techniques 
don't just read 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 and by heart the answer you understand the concept mainly if you understand the concept you can write the complete answer in your own words if you don't know the answer then you can't write the answer okay if you just know the topic example environment if you just know the topic environment you will write complete uh, thing about the environment right what is the environment environment our, our surroundings what is there in the surroundings we have animals we have human beings we have non living things we have living things everything you can write right so if you know the topic the complete answer you can write in your own words okay don't focus on what focus on how then fifth step is practice with previous year papers this is the game changer now okay this is the game changer game changer practice with previous year papers if you practice with previous year papers 40 to 50% you are done with your exam preparation no doubt in that especially problematic subjects and mainly focus on focusing on the problematic subjects because most of the students they feel difficulty in the problematic subjects anyhow they will write the theory whatever they know in their own words or they will get passed but in problematic subjects definitely you have to practice with the previous year papers when you see previous year papers you will come to know how the questions they are asking what they are asking what you have to read what you should not read what are the important topics okay so practice with the previous year papers it will definitely help you out till 40 to 50% the remaining one you need to go on reading or you need to understand the concepts then sixth one is revise regularly very important to revise okay as i said you it is not the thing that you read 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 and by heart the answer if you do such things all the answers which you are reading will get stored in your short term memory you are having two types of memory short term memory long term memory so if you go on reading and if you by heart the answer that answers will get stored in your short term memory if you want to shift those all answers from short term memory to long term memory you need to revise regularly few of the students when they write their examination they will write perfectly very good answers and after coming out from their class or from the examination center if you ask the question to those people they will not answer it all because they will be forgetting the answers exam khatam then answers also they will get vanished from their brains so just example if i am giving you four important questions you have read four important questions out of that four important questions you got one important question in the examination remaining three will be there no four minus one is three these remaining three answers they will dance in your brains they will jump in your mind that we people are also are in your brain okay you are just writing one answer but you please make a note down of us as well you please put it on your paper that we are also present it means they will make you confuse okay the remaining three answers if you just read and by heart the answer you will get a confusion among those three answers that is this is the answer is this is the answer next do i should write this next so they will make you confuse so when you are reading you understand the topic if you understand the topic as i said you you can write in your own words so if you revise regularly what happens is these four answers they will take their separate places like this so if first question is asked you will just focus on this this will you will not focus on these because you already know what these things are but if you just read and by heart the answer these three will make you confuse so these are the six steps which i have shown you in this video exam preparation must be done you please start your exam preparation and please be confident okay confidence is really very 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 much important i'm focusing on those points which you will need in your exam preparation confidence is very much important if you feel like this subject is difficult or i can't do this subject or how i have to study what i have to study then you will not do great in your exams be confident even if you don't know anything about that subject you be confident that i will read and i will make sure that i'm perfect with this subject and i will make sure that i will write everything in the examination as i said you i have already made the notes for important question answers of all the subjects so if you want those notes you text me on my instagram i highly recommend you to take those notes because notes are prepared in easy and simple manner okay see like if you don't know anything about the subject also you will get perfect with that complete subject because i have used the daily words okay how we talk in day to day life like how i am talking in this video you are getting right you are getting what i am talking so in the same way 
uh, not difficult terminology have used i have used very easy words in those notes which will help you out so if you want those notes you can text me on my instagram you will get languages core and non core all together so text me on my instagram and follow us on our instagram for more updates if you are having any doubts please let me know in the comment section and also i am ready to make a video of brief descriptions of each and every subject like uh, i can make a video if you want uh, like if you say me bcom 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 computers or if you just give me uh, one subject name like fundamentals of information technology fit if you give me that subject i will make a brief description of that subject like what you are having in that subject what topics you need to cover what exactly that syllabus is or uh, is it difficult or is it easy what you have to follow each and everything so if you want me to make a video of big brief descriptions of each and every subject please let me know in the comment section see you all in the next video bye bye